Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and in this video we are going to look at the date value function of Excel. So what I've got on screen here is a list of dates in uh, some variety of formats and those dates are formatted as text. Now this is the kind of scenario you may come across when you're importing or downloading data from different sources. So you may import data from, let's say, your payroll system, and you have a list of dates, but have come across as text, which means they're redundant when it comes to things like using them in pivot tables, calculating them in uh, formulas, and thus such, because Excel doesn't understand them as a date. Now, this is where the date value function can help you, among other ways, that is to be said. So in column B, I'm going to start to write my date value function. And you can see that it tells you its job is to convert a date in the form of text to a number that represents a date. So if I just open up my date value function, tell it to look at the cell that contains the date, close bracket and press enter, that will bring across that date, but will show it as Excel serial number. Now this doesn't make much sense to us, so we will go and then format that in you know, a format that represents it as a date, such as my short date format, and then I can copy that down to the other cells, and it will work equally for all of them. I wanted to do a demonstration here where you can see that A4 has also got the time in it, 10 o'clock as well. Uh, that's not bothered the date value function, it can ha quite happily do its job although it has ignored the time. The time is now gone, the date value function won't care for that. If you want that as well, you want a function simply called value. The value function would have taken the date and the time. Date value just takes the date, so you lose that bit. Which if I wanted that, is good news. <laughs> I've also got one in cell A5, which is just really simply free slash dual. So I can't say for sure that this function is going to work in your examples and what you need it for, because it depends on so many factors and basically what it looks like, what the data is. But I wanted to show that Excel understands that. As long as Excel can recognize, despite it being formatted as text, that there is a date, the date value function will work. And you can see that in my example right now. If you receive an error message from the date value function, that's probably because the cell you're referring to is not text. This function specifically converts date as text into date as number. If it's not text, it won't like it. And you can see if I click on these cells at the top, they are in a text format at the moment. So unless they're like that, that function may complain at you, at which point it's probably an okay example. I hope you found that video useful. Uh, please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.